Hi, I'm Elio from Yoga Warrior with Elio, and welcome for the lower body uh, yoga practice. In today's practice, we are gonna be standing most of our time on our legs. We won't do any chaturangas, and we're gonna do some balancing poses and uh, some strengthening poses too for the legs. So stay with me, I hope you like the class. Please make sure to hit the like button if you like the class for sure, and consider to subscribe to my channel. So let's get started, laying on our hip. Now take both feet together in front of you, in front of the mat, and find where it's comfortable for you to put them. You can push the feet a bit forward or back, just see where it's comfortable for you. And when you're there, just make sure you relax the knees and let them gently to open and begin to release the hands forward and use the elbows to open a bit and release the head down. Now you have the option to close the eyes and to let the head to hang heavy to the ground. Now you have the option to close the eyes and to focus again on yourself, bring your mind to this present moment. Just begin to check in with the body. If there's any thoughts, just try to tap in again to your breath. Now, you're gonna begin to focus on your breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Fill the chest very gently and then the belly, and exhale through the nose very gently. Inhale, and exhale. Now continue with your own rhythm. Check here on each exhale if you can go a bit more forward, releasing the chest down, and make sure to have a bit of a straight back. You don't wanna hunch down, it's not about the reach, it's about letting go and having the opening here. Three more breath. Also you can set a intention for the class where you need to focus a bit on your legs, where we need a bit of strengthening. And I'm gonna need you to ask for a bit of focus. No matter what you have or you offer today, it's totally fine, just a bit of focus would be nice. And very gently begin to lift the chest up. Now from here, you're gonna take the left leg all the way to the side, and you're gonna see that the side of the left foot is on the floor. I'm not rotating and putting it like that. So take it to the side. And now from here, you'll have the option too to stay like that, or you can begin to open the foot if you like, where it's comfortable for you. And the left hand should go on top of the right knee, right hand to the back. Now very gently and slowly take it here and begin to rotate and try to press the left hip down. You'll feel the rotation from the left leg, upper leg. Take it easy. Two breath here. One more. Very nice. Now back to center, let's switch side. So left foot to the inside and right foot to the side. And from here you can check in. Make sure the right foot is the edge, the side of it is flat to the floor. And if you're comfortable, you feel that you feel the stretch and the rotation here with this pose, just stay here. If not, begin to open the leg. Here, just move a bit. Perfect. And make sure again you're pressing the right hip down. Take the right hand, place it on top of the left knee and begin to rotate. That's lovely Puggy. He's nine years old. <laughs> He's just for foster now. 
It's a lovely dog. One more breath. Very nice. Now go back to center. Take both, both feet to the front of the mat and just take the hands to the back and just sway the knees from side to side, very gently, allowing the legs to take their <laughs> space again. Very nice. Yeah. Now from here, you're gonna sit on your chin. Two more stretches here. We're gonna stretch the front chin from the legs. Yeah. You're gonna begin to lift the knee up and make sure here the, fat, uh, the feet from the back, they're almost all toes touching the floor and begin to lift the knees high. If you feel uncomfortable here, just take it as low as possible or just you feel like going all the way up and you wanna take the hands away, that's an option. You can place the hands to your chest for two more breaths here. One more. And gently release. Now tap the feet a bit, tuck the toes, make sure all toes are on the mat and set the hip towards your heels. Make sure the back is straight. Now you're stretching the foot from the inside. Just try to relax to this pose, even though it's a bit tough to the feet. Two more breaths here. Very nice. Like I said today, there will be no chaturangas. So we will stand and we will walk forward to the front of the mat, place both feet almost together, slightly open, interlace both hands together and just release down to a roundel pose. You can sway it gently from side to side. Two breaths here. One more. Very nice. Now place both hands on your quad, lift the chest. Now, you're gonna keep the right foot where it is and you're gonna step the left foot a bit, a 50 centimeter to the back and straighten both legs. Now, take the hands towards the hip and hinge forward. You feel the stretch happening from the right hamstring. Now, you have option to bend the left knee and keeping the right straight and to feel a bit more of a stretch with the right hamstring. You can flex the toes back towards you as an option. We're just opening a bit the legs before we start our sequence. And very gently step forward with the left foot. Now take the right foot back. Again, the same, with, uh, the same distance. Straighten both legs. You can place both hands towards the hip and hinge forward. If you don't feel much of a stretch with the left hamstring, you can bend the right leg, keeping the left straight and flexing the toes back. Stretch down and try to feel the stretch happening on your left hamstring. Very nice. Now very gently step forward. Inhale, both arms up. Look up and exhale, heart center. Now we're gonna do three rounds of modified sun salutations. It's only for the legs. So inhale, arms up and exhale, sit into your chair. Now check here if you can see the toes and you're lowering the hip as much as you can. So the more you lower down, the more intense it will be. Now, inhale, exhale, reach the hands back, lift the toes. Inhale here, 
and exhale, you shift your weight forward to lift the heels, to balance on your toes. <clears throat> Inhale. And exhale, release the heels, reach the hands up. And from here, keep the right foot where it is and begin to lift the left leg very gently to the back. It's not about the speed, it's about the range of motion. Take your time to step it all the way back. Arms reach up, inhale. And exhale, release the hands and arch the back, look up. Inhale, both arms up and step forward next to the right foot. Very nice. Inhale. And exhale, release the hands to the side and begin to shift your weight forward, lifting the heels, balancing on the toes. On your inhale, release and balance on your heel, lifting the toes, reaching the arms up. Now from here, on your inhale, <clears throat> release the left foot, keep the left foot planted to the ground and begin to lift the right leg all the way back. And again, take the time to step back, strengthening the left leg. Inhale, both arms up and exhale. Release the hands, arch the back, look up. Exhale, step forward. Buggy, move. Good boy. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, heart center. First round is done. We're gonna do two with a bit of modification. Inhale, both arms up, and exhale, sit into your chair. Inhale here, and exhale, release the hands, shift your weight forward to balance on your toes. Now keep lifting the heels high. Now you're gonna keep the hands up, reaching up, and you're gonna begin to lift the left leg to step it all the way back, reaching both hands up. Inhale, keep the front heel from the right leg lifted. And exhale, arch back. Inhale, both arms up. Step very gently forward, release the heels down. Inhale. And exhale, release the hands, lift the heels again. Keep lifting the left heel. Now you're gonna begin to lift the right leg and step it all the way back. Arms reach up, inhale. And exhale, arch the back, look up. You might lose balance, but just totally fine. On your inhale, step forward, balancing on your toes. And exhale to a prayer standing pose. Two breaths here. One more. Very nice. Inhale, both arms up. Bend the knees, set the hip low to chair pose. Now lift the toes up. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Keep the toes lifted. And now from here, you're gonna begin to lift the left leg and step it all the way back. Arms reach up. Inhale. See if you can lift the front edge of the foot, which should be a bit more difficult. And exhale, release the hands, arch the back. You can cheat a bit like I'm doing to find a bit of balance. Inhale. To step forward. And exhale to prayer chair. Inhale, arms up. Lift the toes. Exhale, release the hands. And begin to lift the right leg, supping it all the way back. 
Very nice. Make sure you're still lifting these toes from the front left leg. Arms reach up. Inhale. And exhale. Arch the back. On your inhale, step forward to a prayer chair. And exhale, open the feet, sit low to a malasana, yogi's squat. Now you warmed up the legs with our three sequence of sun salutation, modified sun salutations. Try to press the knee away from you. Three more breaths here before we start our sequence. I like to share this practice with you guys as if I'm training for myself. That's why you see me losing balance. I push myself to see if I can challenge a bit with the balance. I don't like to take it easy while I'm practicing. I like to see how well my body react with each poses. And it's up to you if you feel comfortable doing this. That's totally fine. If not, that's totally great. Very nice. Two more breaths here. Very nice. Now, we're going to begin with our sequence. On your inhale, take the arms straight, reach the hands up, lift the hip high, and exhale to heart center. Close both feet together, reach both hands up, inhale, and on your exhale, step the left foot all the way back. So check here with your stance, what's comfortable for you. Arms reach up, and exhale, bend the left knee, Tap the knee if you like to the floor and reach both arms up. Inhale, exhale to dip the knee down. Inhale to reach up, exhale to tap. Inhale to reach, exhale to tap. Inhale to reach up. And now from here, you're gonna shift all the way forward to warrior three, balancing on our right leg. <coughs> So make sure here your left leg is aligned with the hands. One line, if possible. If not, that's totally fine. Keep breathing normally. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release the left leg back. Keep both Toes facing forward, release the hands to the floor, pyramid pose. You can have both hands on your chin from the right leg to feel a bit more back lifting. If not, you can reach the hands to the floor. Two more breaths here. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, very nice. Now, on your inhale, begin to shift your weight forward, lifting the hands up, inhale, and exhale, interlace both hands on top of the left knee. Press the left knee back towards you to a standing wind release. So. You won't lose balance, you need to gaze at one fixed point. So try to gaze at the fixed accessory you have at the house where you're training or at the floor, fixed point. Whenever I'm trying to shift to look at the camera, I lose a bit of balance, which is totally fine. Very nice. Release the hands. Reach him up, and now you have the option to straighten the left leg. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. 
release down. Standing prayer pose, three breaths here, inhale, and exhale, two more, inhale, and exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, and let's shift towards the other side. Inhale, reach both arms up and begin to lift the right leg, step it all the way back. So check with your stance. See what's comfortable for you today to do. Keep both hands reaching up. Inhale here and exhale, bend the knee, cactus the arms, look up. Inhale to reach up and exhale to lower. Inhale to lift and exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, one more, inhale to lift, exhale to lower, inhale to lift, from here you're going to shift forward to warrior three, keep the hands up straight and right leg straight with your back, try to breathe normally here if you can, focus on your breath, send your awareness towards your legs and gently release the right leg back, both feet facing forward, pyramid pose. Now from here you have option to place the hands towards the chin from the left leg or towards the mat to the ground. You want to have almost as a straight back as possible. Two more deep breaths, inhale. And exhale, wherever you are, you're doing great. Last one, inhale. And exhale. On your inhale, reach both hands up and begin to shift your weight forward to lift up to a standing wind release pose. Kick the right knee in, interlace both hands and press back. Very nice. Inhale. And exhale. Again, try to gaze at one fixed point if possible. One more inhale. And exhale. Release the hands, reach both hands up and begin to straighten the right leg. Your right leg might be 90 degree, which is totally fine. And if you have it bent like me, because I don't have the mobility, that's also fine. You just need to engage a bit with the lower body, lifting the right leg for three, two, and one, and set the right foot down. Standing prayer pose. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, lower all the way down to Malasana. Yogi squat. To take two breaths here, connect back to your breath. Very nice, last round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach the hands forward, lift up, reach both hands up, and exhale to heart center. Close both feet almost together. And now from here, we're gonna level a bit up. So, plant the right foot and step the left foot all the way back, reach both arms up. Now, modification now, it will be heels lifted. So we're balancing on both toes from the feet. Reach both arms up, inhale, and exhale, <laughs> dip the left knee down. Inhale to reach up for four, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, three. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, two. Inhale to lift, and exhale to lower for one. Inhale to lift, release the heel, now from here, you want to shift forward and we're gonna go straight to half moon pose, which 
our right arm will go straight to the ground, left hand reach up, trying to balancing on the right foot. So find your sweet spot, try to get comfortable lifting the back leg, reaching the left hand up. If you feel so comfortable here, you can take the right hand and place it on your chest or behind the back if you like. Always remember to breathe here comfortably. Two more breaths. Exhale. And very gently and slowly set the left foot back. 90 degree, straightening the right leg. Now you have the option to place the right hand on the chin, reaching the left hand up to triangle pose, or you can lower the right hand to the ground. See what's comfortable for you with this pose. Stretching the right hamstring. Look up towards the left leg, left hand. Keep breathing in and out of your nose. Very nice. From here, again, you want to shift your weight forward, reaching both arms up. Standing wind release. Inhale and exhale. From here, you're going to shift and place the left foot on top of your right hip. So standing half lotus. Now you can stay here. If it's this perfect for you, you can shift forward to forward fold. And if you're comfortable, you can lower all the way down. As you see, my left leg is not that flexible, which is totally fine. You can begin to check here also with your balance, if you can balance on the right toes. Woo. You might lose balance, which is also totally fine. When you're done, press back, reach both arms up, and gently release the left foot down. And releasing both hands to a prayer standing pose. Now we take it towards the other side. Inhale, both arms up, and exhale, step the right foot all the way back, reaching both hands up. Begin to lift the heel from the left leg. Inhale, and exhale to dip the right knee down. Inhale to lift, and exhale to lower for four. Inhale to lift, and exhale to lower for three. Keep lifting the left heel. Inhale, and exhale, three. Inhale, exhale for two, inhale, and lower for one, inhale to lift. And now from here, you want to shift forward, left hand to the ground, right leg to lift, right hand to reach towards the ceiling. You can look up or you can look down. Just see what's comfortable for you, where you can find a perfect balancing pose. Now, again, you can play a bit here. You can take the left hand, place it on your chest or behind the back. If you feel yourself confident enough and comfortable with this pose, keep opening the right hip back. And gently and slowly releasing the right foot back. The back foot 90 degree, left hand to the left chin or to the floor if you have the opening. Right hand to reach up. Very nice. Now, take the hands forward, shift your weight forward, reach both arms up to standing wind release, to lift both hands. Press the right knee back towards you and take the right foot, place it on the inside of your left hip to standing half lotus. Again, if you're comfortable here, just stay here. If you'd like to check a bit more, just lower forward fold here. Very nice. 
if you like also you can lower all the way down as you can see this side is more comfortable for me I'm more open with the right leg which is totally normal to have each side differently and you can from here try to balance on your toes when you're there use the hands to lift the hip release the legs open the feet and sit down into your yogi squat three breaths here before we go to our last sequence of the day you can close the eyes here just to connect again to your body and to your breath very nice on your inhale take the hands forward lift the hip high reach both arms up and exhale to heart center now our last sequence same what we did with a bit more modifications so reaching both arms up inhale and exhale step the left foot all the way back now you want to balance on your heel lifting the toes straight inhale arms reach up you will see that this is more difficult and exhale lower down for five inhale to lift and exhale to lower down it's fine if you lose balance just try to keep up lift lower and lift two more lower and lift and lower and lift from here we will place the left hand now to the ground and reaching the right hand all the way up to a revolved half moon pose keep lifting the left leg all the way up very nice two more breath here last one and gently release the left leg down now you can keep the left hand towards the ground check, check with your stance you can place the hand on top of the chin of your right leg reaching the right hand up if it's not comfortable use the hands to the floor you can bend a bit with the right knee to feel a bit more comfortable if not just keep reaching the right hand up and press the back heels down to the ground very nice one more breath and release reach both arms up inhale grab the knee press the knee towards the chest and take it forward now both hands straight and the left leg now we will try to do a pistol squat it might be difficult we don't have to go all the way down but we will explore and see where we can go so keep your weight forward with the hands and the left leg you can use the hands for support here and then lift up that's one and that's it we won't do that more very nice reach both arms up and exhale to heart center we take it towards the other side last side here step the right foot all the way back begin to lift the toes balancing on the heels let's do five rounds five lower and lift four lower and lift lower and lift lower and lift that's two and last one lower and lift from here you're gonna shift forward taking the right hand all the way to the ground to revolved half moon pose left hand reach up inhale and exhale keep engaging the glutes reaching the right leg up inhale and exhale gently release the right leg right foot back now taking the right hand back to revolved 
triangle or twisted triangle, left hand reach up. You can have the option to place the right hand on top of the chin of the left leg or to the ground. Two breath. And shift forward. Reach both arms up, kick the right knee in, and press the knee in. Inhale. And exhale, release. Arms are straight, right leg is straight. My left leg is stronger from my right, which is completely fine. And let's begin with our pistol squat. So check here, you can use the support of the hand to the ground. And lift and release. Shake the feet, just step forward and back. Just to let go of the tension that I built there. And when you're ready, sit down on your chin of your legs. Now, close both knees a bit to each other and open the feet to hero pose. Just stretching and calming down the body, closing the class. Now, if it's this not comfortable for you, you can close the feet and sit on your heels, or you can place a cushion from the sofa. If you're here in here pose and you feel yourself, you wanna go a bit more deeper, take the elbows back, open the chest, release the head back. You wanna take it a bit more, you can lower all the way down to the ground. Again, try to keep both knees closed. For me, it's a bit difficult to have them a bit close and I don't have that much flexibility, which is totally fine. And you can place both hands on top of your head and to lace them together. Take a couple of breath here, calming down your body, your mind. You finished the practice. Very nice, you very gently begin to lift up, very gently and slowly, taking your time here, and shift the feet forward. Feet are straight to the front of the mat. Now we're gonna do a forward fold. You can have both hands to the side of the mat, or you can grab the side of the feet, and you can lower down. You can place the both hand on top of the toes and flex the toes, feeling a bit more of a stretch here. Two more breaths. And gentle release. Now from here, begin to roll your way all the way towards your back. Kick the knee, right knee in towards the chest and take it all the way towards the left, twisting. Placing the left hand on top of the right knee and look towards the right. It's always good to Open up the spine and to release the tension from the spine. You have the option here to grab the outer edge of the right foot and to open up. Very nice. Let's take it towards the other side. So kick the left knee in. Straightening the right leg to the ground. Twist the left. Knee towards the right. Placing the right hand on top of the left knee. Taking the left hand to the side. Just calming down your body. Letting your body to be comfortable here. And letting the tension to go away. Take the option here to grab the outer edges of the left foot with the right hand. If possible. If not, that's completely fine. Very nice. 
nice release. You're welcome to do anything before we close the class. I would like to take a happy baby pose. Just giving my small massage to myself. I always enjoy this pose before closing the class. And gently take the feet to the outer edges of the mat, opening the palms up towards the ceiling. Just relax the body again to relax your legs. If there's anything that it's, you feel like there's a tension there, let go, let the weight of the body to be settled to the ground. Enjoying your time in Shavasana. I would recommend you to stay in Shavasana as long as you can. One of the best poses of yoga is Shavasana. So if you're practicing at home, take your time. May today you go forward, you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. My heart to you. Namaste.